Hey, I'm Mike from musicradiocreative.com. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to correctly mix vocals with music using reverb. Okay, here we are in Adobe Audition, and I've got just a, a bit of flanger on the voice. 96.1 FM. And then we bring in the music, and it sounds like this. 96.1 FM. So a nice standard beat, but no reverb yet. So I'm going to show you how to set up reverb to sound really good, but not overpower the mix, particularly if you're doing imaging. Uh, so drop down in my effects rack to reverb, and we're going to go for a studio reverb. It's my favorite kind of reverb to use. We'll go to the default to start with. So what do we want to do? Room size is way up at 70. If we make it at 100, it's going to be huge. 96.1 FM. Now let's uh, just whack the wet up so you can really hear what's going on here and keep the dry at 100. 96.1 FM. Actually, let's take away the dry for the moment and listen to the wet. Now, when I remove the room size and make it smaller, we've got a much closer reverb, which is great, kind of bounces into the music better. So a smaller room is definitely better. Now, for decay time, there's something really cool you can do with music. If you look at the, uh, the first bar there, so one, two, three, four, it's easy for me to see in this particular track. I can see that's the length of a bar, which is 1.879, so one... 879 milliseconds. That's where you want it to be uh, on the decay to match with the beat of the music. And you can hear that reverb now bouncing to the beat of the music. Early reflections, bring them down. And you hear it so subtle in the background. Uh, the width, that's your stereo width. So we can make that larger if we want that kind of imaging big city sound, why not? Uh, high frequencies, we can lop them off a bit. Again, it makes the reverb a little subtler and it's not so overpowering on the ear. Uh, you can mess around with a low frequency cut, but I'm, I'm happy with what I've got there. Uh, damping and diffusion, I'm going to leave at 50%. Now whack in the dry. 96.1 FM. There we go. And you can hear that reverb in the background. 96.1 FM. Not necessarily overpowering the full mix. Bring it down a little bit more if we like. 96.1 FM. Just so it's a very subtle reverb mix. And that is the way to correctly mix vocals with music using reverb without overpowering your original audio track.